Hey dudes, it's P-Dubs, and guess what? Today we're looking at the easiest, and I mean easiest, marquee upgrades or mods that you'll ever do on your Arcade 1UP stock Arcade 1UP cabinets. We're looking at these brand new slip-on marquees available for your Arcade 1UP products from Joe Sabo and Sabo's Arcades. I absolutely love Joe Sabo, and I've covered a lot of his products in the past on this channel. He hasn't disappointed me yet. These are reverse printed acrylic marquee molds that are made to fit just right over top of your existing Arcade 1UP uh, marquee. So you don't even have to replace the full marquee. All you have to do is peel that sticker, which I'll show you how easy it is to do, and get this high quality image on there. That's right. No washout, no light bleed, and the artwork, of course, looks the way the artwork looked on the original Arcade, because Arcade 1UP is notorious for changing the artwork on these marquees. No idea why. A lot of it has to do with licensing, not being able to add original logos and things like that. But a lot of times their marquees have stuff in the wrong spot or size differently, etc. versus the original mar arcade. Now, why would I pick one up for Star Wars? Well, Star Wars is probably the best, even as of today, arcade one up cabinet that's ever been made by arcade one up. But it had one fatal flaw on the marquee. Due to the way the light box was designed back then, you could see the wires for the power right through it. This has always been a pain point for me, something that I would always look at and shake my head and grumble. And I have very few arcade one-up cabinets with a stock marquee to mod, so I kind of had to order a Star Wars one. What I love, love about these molded acrylic marquees is the fact that I don't have to disassemble the entire cabinet. Literally, all you have to do is pull out that hair dryer, crank it up to high heat, warm up the old marquee, and then find a corner and just start peeling. And while you're peeling, keep the heat going, and just some heat from a hairdryer, plus some elbow grease, some tugging, and just being slow and patient, it's just going to come right off. I published a video last week on my channel for my Arcade 1UP Atari Tempest Legacy cabinet, and I showed how to install one of Sabo's stick-on marquees on that particular cabinet. Now, I had purchased that three or four months ago, and I finally got around to installing it and making the video, and by the time I did, Joe had already canceled that product, because he came up with this new, more genius design on how to get this done. The steps are pretty much the same. Grab some rubbing alcohol or some gunk off or goop off or any kind of cleaner that'll, you know, remove adhesive. Get yourself a nice microfiber rag and, you know, go ahead and get it all wiped down and get some of that adhesive off there if you want. This is a must step if you're using one of his older stick on marquees. It's not 100% necessary for these slip-on marquees, but I like to have a clean surface. Go ahead and grab your uh, your slip-on marquee, man. And this thing is so easy to install, literally. You just kind of put it on the top. It'll kind of stretch at the bottom. Put it on the bottom, it kind of all snaps together. And boom, you're done, it's installed. Peel your film, and your marquee is ready, baby. That's it. Easiest mod in history. The only way you'll get light bleed out of this thing is if for some reason the sides of your arcade cabinet are not screwed together tightly enough and if your cabinet's a little bit loose. Here's a comparison of Sabo's marquee as well as the original Arcade 1UP one that we peeled off and as you can see the shapes are in their right size, shape, color, and position as well as any of the fine print, logos, etc. This is what the true marquee looked like on the original cabinet so it's nice to have this change on this Arcade 1UP version. What's nice about doing it this way is nobody can tell that you have another marquee just fitted over top this thing. It hides everything perfectly, and it looks just like those stock marquees if you're a big fan of that look from Arcade 1UP, because a lot of the aftermarket guys have marquees with frames around the marquees, and some people don't like those, so this is a nice option. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing on. Boom, the marquee just popped on. Yes, it is daytime while I'm filming, and I am in a brightly lit loft area type room. My apologies for that. As you can see, this uh, thicker uh, vinyl and the thicker prints on the reverse printed acrylic do hide that wire a lot better than what the stock Arcade 1UP marquee did. You can almost barely see it below the TIE Fighter, but a definite improvement versus what this looked like stock out of the box from Arcade 1UP. And keep in mind that uh, wire that you could see in the light-up marquee, this was kind of exclusive to the Arcade 1UP Star Wars machine. Any other other light-up marquees didn't have that issue. I, I think they heard a lot of fan feedback and made sure that the wires wouldn't pop up and, you know, kind of be exposed through the marquee. But overall, as you can see, no light bleed whatsoever. Just got to make sure your cabinet's nice and tight. Everything looks really, really good. And this is at daytime. 
I went ahead and I peeled off that stick-on marquee that I previously bought from Joe Sabo, and I went ahead and I installed the slip-on marquee. So as you can see, here is our Tempest slip-on marquee. So no matter what stock arcade one-up cabinet you have, easy install, you can get this done. I'll have a link to these uh, in the video description below. Now these do cost $50 plus shipping, so they're definitely not cheap. You do get what you pay for with Sabo's arcades, and of course all mods are optional, so it's up to you if you want to go this route. I personally am very happy with it. Leave me your comments, feedback, reactions below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up on the way out, and thank you for subscribing.